I would need to get a breakfast, take a shower, pack up here everything. So I think it needs still some time to get in the air and the weather is already perfect. Over there are great cumulus clouds and there are some. How far can we travel by glider in seven days? This was our mission in summer 2022. Together with Felix, we started this exciting trip in Germany, flew around the airspace of Paris, up to the Baltic Sea and down to the Alps. We covered a distance of nearly 3,900 kilometers across Europe in only 46 flying hours. This extreme trip was not always easy. Heavy thunderstorms, low saves, and we needed to avoid any outlanding without ground crew and without an engine in our sailplanes. A quick bike ride across the airfield next to the next village. And I'm going to the bakery to get something for breakfast. The last two days of our trip started in clicks with a direct flight heading south to Königsdorf. After a short detour to the Alps, the big struggle to get back home to Donauwörth started. Die Delta 7274 ist abflugbereit. Vielen Dank. Danke dir, viel Spaß, gute Reise. Dankeschön. Felix, bist du da? Auch. Oh. Habt denn auch mit über zwei? Ich glaube, wir waren gerade zwei Adler mit dem Kreis. Mir ist gerade eingefallen, das Elfsternsteingebirge, das ist doch nicht so weit von hier, oder? Meinst du, da kommt man noch hin? Ich weiß nicht ganz genau, wo das ist, aber es muss hier irgendwo sein, ja? Also ziemlich nach Süden wegfliegen. Ich google mal. I didn't feel very good today. I didn't rest well tonight, uh, but and it's already the sixth day, so uh, <laughs> we flew a lot of hours. Now we are here in Czech Republic. It's already our fifth country. So amazing. The online platform WeGlide just implemented a new scoring especially for those gliding adventures, which is called Travel by Glider Cup. It's something I was missing so hard because it was nearly impossible to find flight tracks from other pilots doing the same. I really love to get inspired from other pilots who have local knowledge or more experience in some areas. In this case, the points are a sum of each individual's day out scoring, plus a bonus of the longest distance between the two extreme points of the complete trip. For more details, get to WeGlide and get inspired for your next gliding adventure. A link is in the description below. So this is our current airspace situation. We will need to fly through this small corridor here, where there is no airspace restriction. And our goal for today is south of the Munich airspace, so we need to fly a big round around Munich on the western side. Airfield, Donauwörth, Gender King, where I started. That's the airfield where I started. 
Alps, here we come! Great to meet you again! Ich mache einen Anflug. Ich auch, hier geht nichts. Vorgefahren ist er über mich drüber geflogen. <lacht> ja, es hat perfekt gepasst. Ja, Perfektes hey. Timing. Oh ja. <lacht> so, Prost, Prost. Ah, du Pilz. Ja, ja, ja. <lacht> Cheers, guys. Great weather here on the ground in Königsdorf. Zeit. War echt geil, hat Spaß gemacht. Guten Flug nach Hause, wir jo, sehen uns dann nochmal in den Bergen. Sehen wir uns nicht mehr. <lacht> naja. Naja. In der Luft wahrscheinlich in der Luft, ja. Okay. ja, cool. Guten Flug. Bis dann. Special Aerotail by Matthias Schuck today in the Dimona. And Felix will get the Aerotail with the, this powered plane there. So he will be faster in the air, but I'm the first. So we will meet and have a parallel. Air two. Great. <laughs> so tough. First better thermal of the day, or good thermal. And this landscape, it's so outstanding.
Nice. But now it's a, let's get a thermal there again, take some height and fly out there. Lake Constance Somehow here the air is really difficult, it feels like there's more hot air coming in and also the wind direction changes and the speed increases. Not really happy but I should get up here again before I get blown into the airspace and perhaps this will be my turn point for today my ultimate goal was to fly there to the Jura but and to fly in another country today to Switzerland but it is not really possible there are some blue thermals and yeah perhaps I would get there but to get back it would be even harder 
and then here on the right hand side you can already see the cirrus clouds getting in and covering uh, the area especially for Felix it is a big pain in the ass I think so for me it should work out somehow okay but I really need to turn around now it's uh, I have still 223 kilometers back to Donaubert thermos are really really hard to get I'm not sure why but it is not the best air mass Okay, let's head back home now. Somehow the conditions deteriorated a lot. So the cloud base is only, say, 1,600 meters if you get a climb. I'm now here very low. Really close to the airspace of Stuttgart. But down there it also looks not good. At the opportunity to fly really north or far south. And I decided for north, but I think it was not the best choice. But I'm still flying. Let's hope for a thermal. No way. Why do I have so much luck? Finally back home after seven days of flying, nearly 4,000 kilometers. It was an amazing journey, but I am completely exhausted now. The last 100 kilometers today were so difficult, and <laughs> I was not really thinking that I will make it back home. But um, I made it. I'm really glad. Felix made an outlanding today. Um, I think he has about 100 kilometers um, back home, or 150, something like this. Um, so all is fine as well there and yeah I hope you enjoyed this journey as well um, it was really so outstanding great weather conditions um, great places where we could sleep thanks to everyone thanks to Felix without him I would not have done it uh, especially would not have flown to France um, yeah now I need to 
V-Rig the glider, then edit the videos in the next days and yeah, hope to see you soon again. Cheers! Yeah.